Welcome back everyone, it's Peter Tragos, the lawyer you know, and we are here for a quick update on the Galen Maxwell case because more stuff is happening in the tangential cases, not necessarily her criminal case. We're still waiting here if that conviction gets overturned or actually a motion for new trial is granted based on what happened with the juror who came out and spoke to the media. We've done a video on that already, but today we're not talking about Prince Andrew specifically and we're not talking about that trial. We are talking about the eight John Doe's that were caught in the web of a prior lawsuit back in 2015 by Virginia Dufre or Roberts, whatever you want to call her, by one of the victims of Jeffrey Epstein and Galen Maxwell, now wants to unseal eight names that were involved in that prior lawsuit. Eight names, eight men, eight John Doe's who could have partook in the sexual abuse suffered by Virginia. And it's obvious why she wants those names revealed. She wants her pound of flesh to continue. She wants potential criminal investigations to ensue against these eight men. And it's obvious why these eight men don't want their names revealed. But why was Galen Maxwell involved in all of this? Well, her lawyers were objecting on their own and fighting the identity being released of these eight John Doe's until now. Her lawyers have now said they are no longer going to argue the objections they had to unsealing the names of these John Doe's from the previous civil case. Is this an indication or a step towards Galen Maxwell naming names? Is this a step towards her cooperating with the government? Is this a step in her sentencing process trying to get a reduced sentence? A lot of these factors can be playing at the same time because while she may be looking at a new trial, while she has some strong um, evidence and chances that she deserves a new trial, this could all be happening at the same time that now that she's been convicted, maybe she's a little more scared. Maybe she's a little more likely to cooperate. And if she gets this motion for new trial at the same time as she's cooperating and naming names, maybe she can put a deal together with the government. It didn't seem like either side was interested prior to now, but this could be the first step in that. It could also be absolutely nothing. It could be maybe Galen Maxwell can't pay her lawyers anymore to keep fighting these fights for these eight John Doe's. Maybe it means her lawyer isn't going to want to work for her anymore now that she's been convicted. Any number of things could happen to where they could withdraw these objections that doesn't necessarily mean she's naming names. She can also say, and as the motion stated by her lawyer, all of these eight, eight John Doe's, actually six of the eight, have their own lawyers filing their own objections. They can fight the fight for their clients. We're just going to back off at this point. Maybe it's just Galen Maxwell retreating and surrendering and say, I lost, I'm out of here, it's over. It could mean a number of things. It's not a silver bullet saying Galen Maxwell is now naming names, although it could be. And the timing could be interesting based on if the government's going to take a blow if they have to redo this trial. Obviously, they feel like they can still win, but they don't want to do it again. So if they can work with her on a deal, maybe now is the best time for that. I'm sure we'll find out as we continue to hear. But what do these six of the eight John Doe's argue is the reason for not revealing their names? It's a civil lawsuit. We've heard Prince Andrew's name. We've heard Galen Maxwell. We've heard Jeffrey Epstein. Some people think Prince Andrew might actually be one of these eight John Doe's. So what do these six of the eight John Doe's argue is the reason their names should not be revealed, obviously, and we're going to also hear a response from Virginia's lawyers. But let, let's talk a little bit about the legal arguments they are making why their names should not be revealed. Four John Doe's argue that they want to continue to keep their names anonymous because they want to avoid annoyance and embarrassment and want to live a private life. Two of the other John Doe's claim that exposing their names will result in severe anxiety and distress, and it's extremely personal and will cause physical and reputational harm. Two of the John Doe's mentioned that their names were brought up in depositions in this lawsuit unreliably by Virginia and bringing their names out, they're not actually connected, they're not convicted, right? There's not a civil judgment against them, there was a settlement. So bringing their name out, people out there are gonna say, Oh, you, and we'll hear what her lawyer says. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't sexually abuse people and maybe you shouldn't do this. Maybe you shouldn't be that. And then your name wouldn't be ensnared in this web. But that's not really what we have here. We have accusations leveled against these John Doe's. We do not have criminal convictions. We don't even have civil judgments against them. So they are right in that they are going to get torn apart and their reputations are going to be ruined by the word of one person bringing these actions against them. 
Now, yes, there could be potential criminal charges or investigations done against them, but that's not a reason to keep their names sealed, obviously, or we could just seal all criminal defendants' names. But the point is, the only reason these names were sealed and have continued to be sealed is because they still have that presumption of innocence. They are not convicted of anything. So to destroy their lives based on an accusation where there was a settlement and she was paid and there was a confidentiality agreement and a release signed, it kind of does follow that maybe these names should be sealed. I know everyone out there and everyone watching wants the names revealed, wants to know what's in the black book. Name names, let's find out who else was involved. And I am too, as far as let's do a criminal investigation to see who's actually involved, see who there's actually evidence against, not just one person firing shots left and right because they feel like they've gotten their first win and now they have some momentum. And they're arguing some similar things to what Maxwell did that maybe she has memory issues and they need to go through her psych records first to see if what she's saying is even reliable. And of course, Virginia's lawyer responds with, this is exactly what Maxwell tried and it didn't end well. People may misremember a lot of things, but they don't misremember sexual abuse by a prince of England. In addition, Prince Andrew needs to say that all the other people who saw them together also have false memories. And how does a false memory create a photograph? So we're going to see, and I've also seen some comments from maybe not this lawyer, but other lawyers saying, obviously you don't want your name to be revealed. Obviously you don't want people to know you're a sexual abuser. Obviously that's going to affect your private life and your reputation. And it's probably going to cause you fear and anxiety. That's what Virginia has been dealing with the entire time because of what you did to her. So let me know in the comments. I have a sneaking suspicion. I know exactly what you're going to say, but let me know in the comments if you think these names should be revealed of the eight John Doe's from this prior civil lawsuit, or if you think it's fair that they stay sealed as to not have their life turned upside down when they haven't been convicted of a crime and no civil judgment against them. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for listening. As always, hit the like button if you enjoyed the content of this video. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lawyer You Know. If you like this content, please share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to our page and like our videos. If you want some interaction, get in the comments and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to know any more information about our firm or this page, you can find out in the description or visit tragoslaw.com. We post multiple times throughout the week, so make sure you hit that bell so you can get the notification and not miss out on the next episode.